Yesterday, I was around Siam area and just heard a group of tourists bargaining a tuk-tuk driver for a ride to MBK shopping mall. Instead of taking the BTS SkyTrain which was just next to them. Or maybe take a walk which won't take more than 5 minutes. So you want to visit Bangkok and explore as much as possible. You want to see the Grand Palace, Wat Po, shopping malls, MBK, Icon Siam, the night market, the nightlife and more. But at the same time you want to save time and money. Alright, then this vlog is for you. Today I'm going to show you how to use the public transportation which has changed a lot in Bangkok and tell you the stations that make you reach the most visited areas, malls and markets in Bangkok. So by watching this vlog, you will save a lot of time and money. And of course, the headaches while bargaining taxis and tuk-tuks. Now I don't want to complicate the vlog rather than make it easy as much as possible. So even if you are visiting Bangkok for the first time, it will be very easy for you to explore it. Four train lines you will be using in Bangkok in order to see the best of it. The airport link, the BTS Sky train, the MRT underground train and the new yellow line monorail train. Now of course there are other lines but these four are the most that you will be using in Bangkok. Ok, let us start from the basics. You want to visit famous attractions like Grand Palace, Wat Po, Wat Arun, all the historic sites, then it's so easy these days. Yes, take the MRT, the underground train to Sanam Chai station. And that's it. Now here, once you arrive to any station, you should know which exit to take. So just read the signs and take the right exit. And you will be directly in front of all these historic landmarks. And if you take other exits, you can reach the flower market and new walking street around. Now guys, once you exit the station, you will always find tuk-tuk and taxi drivers and most of them are ready to mislead you. No need. Avoid them and read the signs at the exit point and know which way to walk. For example, once you exit Sanam Chai station, you can walk to Wat Po, after that to Grand Palace and then take a short boat ride which will cost you 4 baht to the opposite side of the river to explore Wat Arun. And if you want to go to Kosan Road, then it's only 5 minutes ride and it won't cost you more than 50 Thai baht. As you can see, fast and cheap. And yet, I see lots of tourists struggling to reach these places. Bargaining taxi and tuk-tuk drivers. Don't do it. Use the public transportation. Another famous spot for cheap shopping, food and night market is Chinatown Yawarat. So again, take the MRT underground train to Wat Mangkon station. Take the right exit and you will be walking to Chinatown. And once you are there at daytime, you can enjoy the cheapest shopping markets. The street food, the gold shops and after sunset, the night market. So till now you can see, no need for any kind of transportation except the public transportation. While if you act like a lost tourist, you will be paying 200 Thai baht for a tuk-tuk driver to turn you around in the same street 5 times. Ok, now let's talk about shopping and how to reach the famous shopping malls by using the BTS SkyTrain. You will be surprised how easy to jump from one mall to another without any kind of transportation. For example, Pratunam Open Market. Just take the BTS to Chitlom Station and from there walk to Rachaprasong Bridge to Pechaburi Street 21. And you are just at the beginning of the market. Also, through the same skywalk you can access the Platinum Fashion Mall and Palladium Mall. And all the markets around. You can also walk to Central World, one of the fanciest malls in the area. And imagine how many taxi and tuk-tuk drivers are around to hunt you. Avoid them and enjoy shopping. Now,
Now MBK Shopping Mall, one of the easiest malls to reach by BTS SkyTrain. It has direct access to National BTS Station. So take the train to National Stadium and walk directly to the mall. As I said at the beginning of the vlog that they were bargaining the tuk-tuk driver and the tuk-tuk driver was so smart. He said to them 100 Thai baht. They jumped in and once they arrived their destination, the tuk-tuk driver said 400 Thai baht. Why? Because they are four. While a ride to National Stadium by BTS won't cost them more than 32 Thai baht per person. The malls in Siam area like Siam Paragon, Siam Square, Siam Center, even the new walking street. Just take the BTS SkyTrain to Siam Station and you will be exploring all the small land markets with a walking distance. And if you love to walk, then you will explore more than that. Now another option, another area, Pat Pong Night Market. The nightlife in Silom, Lumpini Park, everything around. Just take the BTS to Saladeng Station or the MRT to Silom Station. Once again guys, I remind you which exit to take once you arrive to the station, so that you will avoid extra walks from one side to another. Now let's talk about the attractions around Chaproya River, like Icon Siam, Asiatic, Lebua Sky Tower and more. Just take the BTS SkyTrain to Sapan Taksim Station. And from there, start exploring all this, the ones that are around the station and after that, you can take the shuttle boat for 10 baht to the opposite side to enjoy Icon Siam and Asiatic. As you can see till now we have used only public transportation to explore everything without taking any taxis or tuk-tuks. Now let's talk about the new yellow line. The new yellow line is a huge add-on to public transportation. You can interchange it from BTS SkyTrain, the MRT Underground train, even the airport link. By using this new line, you can explore lots of new markets, malls and attractions. One of them is Sirinakarin Night Market. Imagine before how hard it was to reach this market. Now just take the yellow line to Suwan Luang Station and you are at the market. You have rounded the gigantic Sikon, Paradise Park and more. As you can see, the public transportation lines are expanding, making the life of the locals and the tourists easier to explore around. Here we come to the first public transportation that you might use once you arrive to the airport. I have made lots of vlog about it by advising you to use it. It's fast and cheap. For example, if you want to go from the airport to Sukhumvit area, you just have to drop out at Payatai or Makassan station and interchange it with BTS SkyTrain. The longest ride won't cost you more than 45 baht and 40 minutes. While taking the taxi, you might spend hours in traffic and pay 10 times more. The Red Line SRT train is another way of transportation which you can reach to Dongmong Airport and the new terminal station Krung Tep Apiwa. New, fast and cheap. I have made a vlog about it in details, you can check it in my channel.
Now, of course, guys, there are lots of other public train lines, like recently, the pink line, that you can take it to Chang Watana Station, where you can extend your visa. So easy. Before, you have to take taxis and trains, now you will be there directly. And more stations are coming each and every month to make your journey faster and cheaper. So my friends, I hope the information that I gave it to you in today's vlog will be helpful once you come to Bangkok, so that you can explore more by paying less. And the best part of it, without wasting your vacation in the killing traffic of Bangkok. My last advice to you, download the map of public transportations in Bangkok and explore the city like a local. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, I am here always to help you. Thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.